It should be awesome. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hannah Slip. Give me a hell yeah. Did it work this time? Can you hear us? All right. You can hear us, brother? Can y'all hear me? We can hear you. Yeah, we can, we hear can you. see you. Can you hear us? Yes. Excellent. Uh, sir, if you please could, could you uh, properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like, sir. All right. Uh, I'm Hanny Slip. I'm a musician from South Florida. I was born in Brazil, but I've been in Florida all my life, so I guess I rep Florida. Um and I got this thing going on right now with uh, with the metal shit, and I guess it's kind of going good. I'm not sure. <laughs> How did you go? Uh, well, first, what part of South Florida? Because I'm actually born and raised West Palm Beach. Well, I go back and forth. I'm based in Broward, but when they, uh, my studio is in uh, West Palm Beach. Hell yeah, cool. Small world. How did you get into the the metal portion of of hip hop? Like, how did that all come about? Were you experimenting with your sound and you just wanted to go that route? Uh, initially, like when I was very young, I was introduced to hip hop first because I guess that's like a more mainstream style of music, or whatever. And then around two thousand and eight, two thousand and seven, I, I should say. One of my friends from school showed me Slipknot. At first, it wasn't really a thing. I wasn't really into it. But then, I don't know, I got curious. Because then I started seeing people wearing a Slipknot shirt everywhere. So I was like, who the fuck, who the fuck is Slipknot? So I researched <laughs> about it. And the first song I heard was Duality okay. by, uh, by Slipknot. And then, yeah, it's pretty much subliminal verses. Um it was duality then before I forget. And those like were very like mainstream songs by them. And I guess that's just grabbed me from somebody that had no idea about this shit. That's how it works, man. Sometimes um, you're not used to a certain style of music and you just hear something and it just grabs you, just captures you. And that's what music does. Like, I love it. Yeah. I, sometimes the reason why I started paying attention to the genre, but I've been like introduced to metal way before. Uh, my uncle is like a really big fan of Mudvayne and uh, Corn, but like those two yes. bands really didn't. It didn't. It didn't get me going. Slipknot. Slipknot got me going. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's how Slipknot I got introduced to, to the, the. That's how I got introduced to metal and like how I got like the interest. You know. Gotcha. And then, from wow. there, it progressed, and then I learned more. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just not metal. It's like, you know, I got subgenres and there's different styles and shit. And just progress from that. I can dig it. Let's check out Bring It. It's a banger. And it has, it the mix on it, like, really has that old school kind of, like, new metal vibe and sound to the mix, too. Who, do, who does all your, uh, who does all your audio production? Me. Hell Yeah. <laughs> Really? I do, I do every I do everything by myself. That's fucking awesome, man. W what do you use? Thank you. What do you use? Uh, Pro Tools, Logic. Uh, what do you use for record to record? All right, so I use Logic NFL Studio. When you hear like trap drums and like electronic shit, I use FL, and then everything that is like live instrumentation, I use uh, uh, Logic. Okay. Uh, Mikey, what you yeah, got for him? I, I love it, man. I I'm I really dig the new metal stuff, so I really appreciate this stuff a lot, man. Um, it gives me like a old school like Soulfly vibe that last track did, just like the pounding drums and just like the yeah. slam riffs. Hell yeah. yeah! I fucking I'm I love from the Brazil. I'm from Brazil, and then like what the people like from my my fan base and the people from Brazil say is I'm like the I'm like the new Max or something of that sort. Yeah, definitely. 
Hell I can yeah. totally see that, man. That's compliment right there. Yeah, for sure, bro. Can you talk about uh, Separate, like what this particular track means to you maybe as far as like a, from a lyrical content? All right, so that track, I put it right after Bring It. And when I put Bring It, everybody want to compare it to Corn, And like, yeah, and then I got, I got pissed off, right? And then usually when I answer to some type of criticism, I do exactly what they expect me to do. So that song, when it starts, it starts very cornish. And I did it on purpose. So I'm like, yo, y'all say I sound like corn. All right, I'm going to sound like corn right now. <laughs> so I, I, so that song progresses through a different, like, different shit. But in the beginning, it's like corn because I didn't want to waste my time. Because, like, it's very hard and very rare for you to get some type of, uh, you know, light. And people start getting into your shit and, like, paying attention to your shit. And, like, oh, yeah, this guy exists. So I didn't want to waste that. But at the same time, I want to roast the, the people that were saying, like, oh, you sound like corn. All right. You want to see what the fuck sounds like corn now? Right. And that's uh, <laughs> pretty much the story about that song. Cool. And then I, I don't think I ever told anybody this. But on that is a section on that song where I'm I'm like it sounds like I'm a mumbling, but that section, my family, my my dad is from this tribe called Yanomami, from from Brazil, so that section that sounds like mumbling is actually speaking Yanomami in, in that section, and I, I and I I have like quite a few people, yeah, so I had quite a few people it's like. What the fuck you were saying in this part? I don't understand it. And that's like Yanomami. Like I have no idea what it says anymore. I really, I, I written down somewhere. A, let's like, let's so jam like, it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. There's a lot of like anime and stuff in the video. Are you a big anime fan? Not necessarily big anime fan. It's just the idea that I had at the time. Um, because like be previously like diving into the new metal ish sound right now that i'm doing right now i was doing trap metal before so i'm like because like the idea that i have is like i'm kind of combine modern shit with the shit that i like and trying to fuse them together and trying to make something out of it and see how people click with it because like uh i don't know just trying to do something different i guess that's so awesome that part of that part of the anime shit, I just got it from the trap metal shit that I used to do before, because that's what trap metal people do. They just put a, a anime, call it a day. They don't even do music videos. It actually, <laughs> like saves money and, and time. <laughs> They're just like, hey, some some uh, it's, yeah, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> some anime slasher, totally and then true. boom, it's on. Dude, are you down to uh, are you down to review a couple artists with us and possibly do some trivia, which could lead to me probably being uh tortured but it's it's kind of fun uh at the same time are you down to do any of that stuff let's go hell yeah let's see what we got let's start off with the review first let's go leech first up all right what'd you think of that one uh fellas what do you think of that one that was nasty That's pretty good. leech That's pretty fucking good i actually like my friend from the Page New Metal on Instagram actually sent me this shit not too long ago. I think it was like a week ago or something. The same, the same track when right here. Released. Oh yeah, like a uh, February sixth, like four yeah. days ago. Yeah, yeah like uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I'm not sure, but I, I, I heard this before. I, I've seen this, so I guess. Are you a King of the <clears throat> Hill fan, sir? Are you a fan of the TV show King of the Hill? Are you asking me? I am asking you. <laughs> oh, no, nah, I don't. I don't even know what that is. Then you will not get this question correct. But it's a very easy one for whoever gets this one right in chat. Mikey, it's so easy. It's so easy. You cannot answer. What? Yeah, I will not. <laughs> does Hank Hill sell for a living? What does Hank Hill sell for a living? Soothsayer is up next with Eternal. Soothsayer with Eternal. Yay. Always. Yay, Soothsayer. Definitely solid. 
I like when he dropped. I, I'm not too fond with the with the talking in the beginning. The poetry stuff in the beginning, not up your alley. No, nah. that's okay. <laughs> it happens. Uh, what is another track of yours, sir, that you'd like us to play? You can pick any anything in your entire catalog. Uh, just just put Haney's Lip. That's my other channel. I got another channel. Um, I guess play Duality. Yeah, I got a song. That there one. we go. Sick. It's got like a <laughs> like a Fast and Furious Need for Speed Underground kind of <laughs> music video vibe too. <clears throat> That, that video was made from scratch by a guy called Odonata from uh, from uh, Russia. He did a pretty good job. All those animations, all those animations you see, were made by one guy. It's not bad. Sick. Handy slip. Are you? It came out good. Are you? Uh, are you four twenty friendly? Weed every day. I, I didn't understand what you say. I'm just asking if you're four twenty friendly. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're gonna I'm gonna about to pack up the bong here just out of curiosity. Uh sir, what what do you do? What is your <laughs> what is your main pastime? Like what do you do mainly when you're not working on music? What is your favorite hobby on the side that you do? Uh, I do graphic design slash drawing and visual art. Hell yeah. Where where could somebody go to uh, hire you for your services? For graphic design? Yeah, just instead of music, like if, if somebody wanted to pay you for some to have you do some graphics for them. Oh, you gotta you gotta reach me. I, I really don't ever advertise it. I just do it for fun. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Just trying to get you paid, dude. <laughs> uh, okay, let's play. Let's go ahead and play Oakart next. Oakart with Beggar. I think we played that one before, but it's still a jam. Pros and cons, did you guys like that one? I like it. I like it. I fucking dig the tuning of the guitar, man. That shit heavy. Say to say that was probably... Yeah, that shit was mean. Uh, oh, yeah. Is it safe to say, say that's probably your favorite one so far that we've played? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, what can we expect for you from you from the rest of uh, 2022? Uh, I I make weird music like I, I I combine a lot of genres and shit. So right now, like I really don't have anything like set in mind what to do. I just know what I'm working on right now. I'm not sure if you go you guys know the artist that I'm about to mention, but like on the trap metal world, this guy called Sinister. He's a pretty he's like he's been killing it in the past year. And there's this new cat called Kilmore. He's like mixing drill with metal. And then I'm jumping on that. And then we are making a drill metal song, which is like drill music with metal. Kilmore? Nice. So I don't I, I don't got, think I've ever heard the genre drill. Drill yeah, metal. Drill and like I'm gonna check it out right now. Oh, there you go. What's that? I'm not too found with the shit that he makes on right now, but like I'm just seeing the numbers grow and I'm like, oh shit. All right. Let me try. Let me try to give this guy a little something. Cool. Maybe we can come up with something good. I like the fact that it's so different. It's like a. It's like. It's cool. I tell you, this dude right here, like you go back six months ago, he had 300 views and like 20 subscribers. He's been growing quite fast. So I'm like, I'm watching it. I'm like, yo, I, I gotta do something with this guy. <laughs> hell yeah, I like that. So let me. Hell yeah, man. I like that. Hey, we got it's time. From the UK. Oh, from the, the United Kingdom. You know, I, I was, I had to have been like 20 years old. This is, this is terrible. But I had, I was like 20 years old when I found out that the United Kingdom didn't just mean England. Like I literally, my whole life thought, UK, the United Kingdom, just was another word for England. I had no idea it included like other countries. Isn't that just really dumb of me? Anyway, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, 
I guess that I had a moment like that too, but I, I wasn't 20. I think I was like <laughs> You were like 13. 9, <laughs> nine <and> 13. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that part of uh, of uh, history class or whatever. Sir, what is what is the final record we play of yours today? Any 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 song in your catalog? By the way, guys, please hit the follow button and support him. Uh, that'd be amazing. What's the what's the last song uh, you'd like I us guess to play? Because Ghouls is doing pretty good. Each song is like different in style too. I like the fact that you're willing to kind of just do whatever you're vibing to right now. Like if you're if you're feeling this style, you want to work on that kind of music. If you're feeling this style, you want to. I, I love that. It's a it's a blessing and a curse because when you hit something and the people expect you to be hitting the same thing over and over again, sometimes that's not good. But sometimes you know the style gets repetitive, then you change. But I don't know with this because I I just released an album called Corpo Seco uh, in December 18th, right? And with this album, I just really wanted to show people like, hey man, this is what I can bring up. You know, this is the shit that I can come up with. Because, like, I make all this shit by myself. Like, I have no help whatsoever. Guitar, bass, drums, mix, master, cover art. It's impressive. And if I have wow. help, Yeah, that is impressive, man. It's a lot going on. Like, uh, I, I do get help from time to time, but it's not it's not a lot. Like, 90, 99% of the shit that I do is just me. Yeah, man. I can dig even, it. Like in this song you just played, Goose, the music video is even added by me. I didn't add it. I didn't add it. Bring it. That's that's the only video I didn't add it. But uh, everything else is on me. Hell yeah. Well, dude, we appreciate you spending some time out of your day hanging out with us. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, some of the new styles, especially your track uh, with. With Killmore for the drill metal style, I've never heard anything like that before, so I'm excited to hear what you do with that. Uh, but in general, just being from from Brazil and South Florida, we appreciate you, brother, and uh, thank you so much for for spending some time out of your day with us. Oh, thank you for having me, man. I appreciate appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, hell ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Hanny Slip, give me a hell yeah. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Stay safe. And have a great 2022.